can multiply fractions just like we can other numbers. Here we've got two-thirds times one-fourth. The first thing we do is multiply the top numbers together. So we've got two times one equals two. Then we multiply the bottom numbers together and we find that 3 times 4 equals 12. Now we have to ask ourselves, as always, can this fraction be reduced? And yes it can, because there are factors that go into both 2 and 12. In this case, we're going to divide each side by 2, as that would be the greatest common factor. When we do so, we end up with one-sixth as our answer. We can simplify the process of multiplying fractions by using cross-canceling. If we look at our fractions here, we can see that 2 goes into 4. So we could use cross-canceling to make the numbers smaller. 2 would go into itself once, 2 would go into it 4 twice. When we multiply across, we find that 1 times 1 equals 1, 3 times 2 equals 6, and we have our original answer of 1 sixth. Sometimes we are asked to multiply two mixed numbers together. Here, We've got 2 and 1 fourth times 1 and 2 thirds. The first thing we're going to do is make both mixed numbers into improper fractions. So let's do that. Here, we multiply 4 times 2 to get 8. We add our 1, and that would give us 9 fourths. Here, we multiply our 3 times 1 to get 3. We add our 2 and we get 5 thirds. Now we multiply across as usual. 9 times 5 is 45. 4 times 3 is 12. And we get our improper fraction 45 twelfths. To make this into a mixed number, we would ask ourselves, how many times does 12 45 without going over? In this case, it's 3 times. Since 12 times 3 is 36, we have 9 left over, and we keep 12 as our denominator. Now hopefully you've trained your eye to know that we're still not done because 9 twelfths can be reduced. So let's do that by using the greatest common factor method. In this case, 3 would be our greatest common factor. So we divide both sides by 3. and we get three-fourths. So our final answer is three and three-fourths. Make sure you do not make the mistake of forgetting to put your whole number after you reduced this fraction. You may also find that you have to multiply a whole number with a fraction. In this case, we cannot multiply a whole number by a fraction. We have to make them both fractions. How do we do that? By making this whole number an improper fraction. What we would do is we would rewrite the problem to 7 to 1 times 1 third now we're ready to multiply across as usual. 7 times 1 equals 7. 1 times 3 equals 3. 
we have our improper fraction of 7 thirds. To change it into a mixed number, we would ask ourselves how many times does 3 go into 7? In this case, it goes in twice with one left over. And our final answer is 2 and 1 third. Now it's time to practice what you learned. Multiply two-fifths times three-eighths. If you got three-twentieths as your answer, you are correct.